go, go. Everybody, welcome to episode number 24 for the hookup on music. We are always glad that you are joining us and always uh, want to shout out to always the appreciative, kind words that you always share with us. Always the time that you take out to share a message or to share your musical interests. That's why we're here. We're not, I'm not here to, to uh, again, it's this is, this is just for me, in my opinion. No, I'm here to talk with you. I want to want to to communicate and figure out what you're listening to and I find that since I've started this it has been super super rewarding so I very very much appreciate that and I appreciate you always willing to well have a good time talking music and that's why we're here so let's get started with uh well some of the things that I've been listening to lately been listening to a wide variety of different different stuff different tunes different this different that i've been digging deep back into some some stuff from the 90s um this week i dig back into the toadies rubberneck album i'm listening to this album from front to back and there are a lot of good tracks on here that i totally forgot about of course everybody knows possum kingdom the song was played quite a bit on the radio but when you look deeper on it, this album, there's some other really good tracks. You know, Mr. Love is a really good song. Backslider, A Quitter, Happy Face. If It's been a while since you've checked that one out. Um, definitely, um, it rocks pretty, pretty hard. Um, also, just, just recently, um, we discussed on this show, well, recently being yesterday, we discussed a little bit of an album, the self-titled album by system of a down so go and check that out if you get a second um while doing this i've dug back into this album lots and lots of classics on this one spiders being one of them um eclectic mix okay that's why we're generally always here together talking music is, is that i personally love eclectic mix of music and i know a lot of people out there also like an eclectic mix of music because music calls for different moods um don't anybody let you tell you that it doesn't because i would like to talk to the other well we'll get into that in a little while but uh lots of stuff though been uh been playing um been digging really really into uh lcd sound system who just played a show this past sunday um, in a festival in Chicago, Idols was also on the bill. Um, they came out and did a song together. That was pretty cool. Um, good bands like Idols and LCD Sound System were always trying to check out if you know any other bands that are like them or other bands that are new and and worth checking out. We are never afraid to check out any any artist here on on this show. Um, but uh, digging into uh, a little bit more of why we're here today, we're here a little bit to uh, celebrate. We are uh, coming across 4th of July weekend. Yes, yes, 4th of July weekend. Fireworks, music, fun, food. 
you can't really get enough of all of that or any of it. I wish that described a lot of days, maybe besides the loud fireworks at night. I do like fireworks, but um, I have a, a dog that uh, does not like the fireworks. So it makes for a little bit of an awkward experience at night. But uh, that being said, you know, a lot of people are going out to musical uh, gatherings, um, concerts this weekend. So people are going to barbecues, picnics, lots and lots and lots of different, different things. Um, what I decided to do here for you is put together a little bit of a, a quick five song. Well, let's just say a five song, a uh, little bit celebration of this holiday of this independence day, which, um, we are all here to celebrate. So when thinking about some songs in the top of my head and doing this for the show, I was trying to, to create well, some songs that I would think would be really good on a playlist. Didn't want to get too cheesy with your um, Lee Greenwoods or anything like that, which not a bad song. If you like that, better for you. This is just a little bit uh, a little bit different. Um, some songs, these are just some songs that, that to me, uh, resonate a little bit when I think of uh, 4th of July or celebrating. Not specifically, you could add these onto your playlist because, honestly, anything that rocks is loud you can dance to it you could bop to it uh is really good for a fourth of july playlist but uh a couple of them here really quick um digging deep into since i was bringing up a little while ago a little bit of a um you know a little bit of a, a, a an older time an older time period of a band that still performs quite a lot it's a great musicianship in this band and this band is 311 Okay, and the song I a song called Homebrew from their 1994 album Grassroots, which uh, well, um, it actually says in the song Fourth of July. Um, so to me, when I first heard this song, which was we're harkening back to like eighth grade, um, freshman year in um, high school, hearing this 311 song and, and hearing that it's always stuck with me. Pretty pretty good little tune. Um, like always, we're going to put together a playlist for today's episode and you can um, listen to some of these songs that I'm talking about. Another number four, another good one to really do it, to really do it up is, uh, Jimmy world's bleed American. Um, this song really is loud. It's fast. It rocks. It's, I deem it to be pretty heavy, you know, not heavy metal, but it's, it's heavy. It's really heavy. Um, Really good live show, uh, Bleed American. It's a, it's a it's a good tune um, by this band that you might know them for some of their other songs, but uh, this song is the one that kind of introduced me to them. Um, you know, the lyrics kind of talk about some of the good side of um, you know um, America and some of the the not so good side of America. Um, but this is definitely a good song to definitely get yourself rocking, you know, rocking it out. Um, number uh, th th a third one that I came up with here, which we all, I always listen to this song, song always could pump you up on any holiday. And it's Rockin', Rockin' in the Free World by Neil Young and Crazy Horse. Um, of course, of course, the Pearl Jam um, cover does always a good job and hits just as well as neil young so either one of those or you could do the version where it's pearl jam and neil young doing this song together really 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 good time um on that jam um again the name of uh this these two right here on the screen here are our last two that i want to talk about here okay you got rokc rock in the usa <laughs> Now, for me, sometimes, you know, the, the old cougar, as he got rid of it, uh, John Mellencamp, you know, what better way to uh, get some acoustic guitars flaring, um, get some, get, get those smiles going, you know, get that barbecue rocking and, and then a little bit of Mellencamp and it, because it says, you know, the title right there, USA, I, you know, I find it to be a good one, but um, my favorite um, song of the 4th of July is uh that i play and i don't even know if it really is a fourth of july but you know what i think it is i think it's a classic fourth of july tune and that's james brown's living in america <laughs> so 
so, I mean, the reality is, is you can't listen to that too many times. Uh, you can always listen to it a lot of times is the way I like to say that. But uh, James Brown's Living in America, which you maybe remember from, um, you may remember from um, Rocky IV. I mean, it's a, it's a, when he comes out on the stage and he's got uh, the hat on and everything um, going and peaking um, because it's during Apollo Creed's entrance. Um, definitely. Um, ridiculous it also a version of it comes in in a coming to america modified version which i was really unaware of um but really cool um those are just some songs that kind of popped into my head while thinking about this 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 holiday coming up here um a lot of good time a lot of fun um check those out also check out coming up um this month really we got some we got a concert coming up this month it's uh, only the cost, okay, of your parking. And this is on July 14th, okay? Stone Temple Pilots, okay, are coming coming to Hammond, okay? Hammond, Indiana, they're coming to the Festival of the Lakes. Um, the um, Festival of the Lakes, which is um, a, a fest that does lots of lots of different artists and different bands, Um Jeff Gutt, who is the lead singer of STP, um, has taken over for Scott Weiland, who unfortunately passed away. But all the other three members are the original members. Eric Kretz, um, Dean and Robert DeLeo. Um, definitely worth checking out for nothing more to go see a band, you know, uh, some classic members and listen to some classic songs. And just announce this week, Local H is opening up this show. So that might be worth it and worth your time to check that out. Um you can never get too much rock, okay? Another good show coming up, which I'm excited for, that I will also be in attendance, is it's going to be August 4th, and it is Government Mule, Dark Side of the Mule um, at Tinley Park. That's going to be a good time. Hollywood Casino Amphitheater. And also going to be, I don't even know if that's still what they call it. I believe that's still what they call it. Um, also um, going to be on that bill is Jason Bonham, who is uh, John Bonham's son. Um, definitely worth checking out. Um, only here can you see those kind of cool things. America! You know, definitely um, awesome. Awesome to look forward to. Um, look out for those shows. But uh, here we are, you know. It is an Independence Day. And we're saying, what are we going to talk about? What You know what I decided to? I wanted to uh, dig dig back a little bit and talk about something that's been on my mind a lot lately. Um, and that's the independence to like whatever music that you feel like you want to like. Now I'm going to say that it's okay to make some jokes, make a couple little jokes here and there, make some jokes. But if you're partial, harshly going after people for liking a specific type of music and not letting your foot off of the pedal, um, I think definitely there's something something to that. And that's why I wanted to talk about it a little bit tonight. Because uh, recently, um, I see this a lot. You know, here on this show, we like all different kinds of music. But don't fool yourself, okay? Because I like, uh, let's say I like a Madonna song, doesn't mean that I can't tell you more about Slayer than yourself. You know, I think people, sometimes they get they get confused and they get mistaken because they don't like it. You know, they don't like that song or they don't like that band. So they think if you like it, that your musical tastes are lower when the reality is, is I like it all and I listen to it all. You know, um, a lot of times out there you, you hear different things, you know, you hear people make fun of this or that and really, they don't really have a connection to what they're making fun of. You know, you're the listener, you're the, you're the person who is listening to the music. Okay. For a lot of people in this world music helps them make it through a lot of different things last week we dug deep into the topic of well using grief your grief and music and how much it helps so let's just take this for instance okay there's a band that say you really like i'm not even going to mention any band i'll just say a band that you specifically like and the reason that you like them because your dad showed you this band okay and unfortunately, when your dad, you were 10 years old, your dad passed away. Okay. But you're a huge musical fan. 
So what connection do you always have is back to that, to that artist. Okay. What does that have to do with somebody who comes along and tries to make fun of you for listening to that band? That person is an ignoramus, number one, because they don't even know that connection with you in that band. I see this happen quite a lot. And in even reverse, I could see somebody who has lost their father, and their father did like that band, but they didn't like the band. So you know what? Screw that, too. So there's no connection. When the reality is, is that's what music is. Music is building dots and creating connections. You know, um, these bands that you listen to, okay, that you think are a certain way, they listen to a lot of different music, okay? Recently, I went up to somebody and was like a huge Iron Maiden fan. And was like, you ever listen to Genesis? And immediately started making fun of the band Genesis. Right there, I pull up the article. There's Steve Harris, you know, songwriter, bass player for Iron Maiden, talking about how Genesis inspired him, inspired this band. And I look at this guy and he goes, I don't like him. That was always my problem with music. I always like also what the artist I like likes, because it's like a growing, it's like a tree. You don't like that tree, but you like the apple? That doesn't really make much sense. And in this case, I guess, for some people, the apple does not fall far from the tree. But that being said, no need to be rude. No need to be disrespectful. And it happens quite, quite a lot. Um, independence to like whatever music that you want to like, okay? Don't tell me that you know more music because you're just throwing out all these new bands. Oh, just... uh, well, let me tell you something. Um, I've also, these same people who have made fun and joked about kind of the eclecticism. I've listened to some of these new bands they listen to. They sound awful, okay? I listen to the same bands you listen to, the more quality versions, and then you say, oh, I listen to these new bands. And then they sound like 30 bands there. 20 of them all sound the same. Okay, I could do it too. We could spend all day long going back and forth. Okay, you pick on somebody's music, we can always show up and pick on your music even though we like that music. People don't understand that concept either. They don't get that you can make fun of things that you also like the same way to prove a point. Music is growing. Music is inspiring. And that's, well always, always is important. Um, I will never, ever, and nobody should ever listen to somebody tell you a certain band isn't any good if that band has helped you get through something that you are dealing with. We don't look for, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, humor and jokes are always funny. I mean, if you don't like the Dave Matthews band and you want to make a joke about, uh, Unfortunately, the bathroom incident that happened in Chicago where their uh, bus, you know, make make a joke, okay? But that really has no connection to the Dave Matthews Band's music. Hey, I like some of their tunes, but man, their fans, some of them, are not the best. They are kind of annoying, which you get that with a lot of different bands and a lot of different artists. You get kind of an annoying nature that, an elitist nature, which that was another thing don't don't always like one band you know i love the grateful dead but i could never imagine myself in the 70s listening to nothing and only the dead i still probably would have went to 30 40 shows but with the big eclectic output of music i can never just shut myself down and say hey you know what i need to listen to this or i need to do that or i need to make it you need to listen to but you also got to listen to what sounds good in your head, too. If something doesn't sound good to you, I do understand that point, too. Um, but that doesn't mean it doesn't sound good to somebody else, or it doesn't mean that somebody else has not used that music to inspire them to make it through, let's say, a certain uh, situation or not. Or, or, or that being said, you know, you got to always keep motoring. <laughs> Always got to keep on motoring when people are trying to say things to you and, and put down your musical taste. Hey, listen, I don't know too much about Taylor Swift, have not really listened to the albums, but she seems to have a huge following. I'm not going to just jump online and just start ripping people who like her. That would be kind of uh, 
counterintuitive. I can make some jokes, maybe a little joke, laugh, make sure they laugh, go back and forth. But that's what it is. It's about growing. It's about a growing experience. Um, always looking to grow. Um, always looking to show new music and old music. Can't forget that. New music is always good, but there's a lot of old music that a lot of people still have not looked back and done the research for. Okay. I mean, I hear a lot of people. Okay. This is a big one. Heavy metal. I like heavy metal, metal, heavy metal. Blah, 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 blah. I like heavy metal. I like heavy metal just as much as the next person. But you're not going to tell me, okay, like you're some serious metalhead. And then I ask you, do you like Judas Priest? And you're like, no, I'm not really. Um, I've never really been into them. You got any Motorhead albums? No, no, no. I, 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 I got any Motorhead. You got any of these bands? But, but, but I listen to Zoo music. <laughs> well, that's cool, dude. It's really cool that you do listen to that. But there are metalheads who live off of Judas Priest. There are metalheads who listen off of Motorhead. You know, you're going to down someone who likes ACDC and they say, like, I have a metal. And you're going to be like, no, that's not heavy metal. It's hard rock. Who cares? Let them listen to it. Let them enjoy it. Let them have a good time. You know, when when all is said and done in the world, you know, you, you just want to enjoy yourself and have a good time and be independent to listen to to really good stuff. The musical output, though, it, it, it is is big and it is, it, is, it is huge. I mean, even in heavy metal. You can't pigeonhole. That's why I hate these terms, heavy metal. You know, recently someone was like, oh, that band is a new, new British new wave heavy metal. And then I looked up and I put in, does this band like being called new wave British heavy metal? No, they do not like being called that. They do not like being called those things. That is not what it is, you know. But that being said, you know, it comes and it goes. You know, and, and it, it becomes part of, well, the landscape of trying to just make it be mature for people to like different types of music, you know, and that's, that's always, like I said, why we're here to show you that. Um, also, another problem is the concert going experience. Some people can't get out to concerts every single weekend. What are you going to do? Make fun of them and say that you like music more because you get to go to more live shows? I've heard somebody say that to me once. Oh, I get to go to more live shows than you. Do you have any children? They're like, no. I have a two-year-old. I can't get out every single weekend, two, three shows a, a weekend to go see a show. I try to get out while I can, you know. But as I get older and as freedom it opens up, of course I will see more shows. There's a time period where I saw more shows than people who are seeing more shows now. You know what I'm saying? There are people who are going to see, you know, a reunited band, let's say. And then I already saw that band three times before they even broke up. I'm not going to sit and, and we're not going to sit and put up with that. But what we are going to do is inspire you to say, hey, listen, listen to other stuff. Listen to more stuff. Listen deeper. Um, no matter what the musical uh, thing is, is that you like or that you want to listen to. It's 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 important. You know, so please, um, you know, refrain from, from being disrespectful to, to, to people, you know, let them listen to what they want to. As I said, jokes are always okay. Make a few little jokes, may make a few of this, make a little few of that. You know, you can always, um, do that type of stuff. Um, but, uh, fireworks displays, um, generally they show independence and that's what we wanted here a little bit tonight. We want a little bit of fireworks. We wanted some explosions. We wanted you to kind of uh, get get a little bit into what we kind of feel here, into liking multiple different types of music. And also saying, if you don't think that we know a certain type of music, no matter if it's, you know, rap or R&B or heavy metal or hard rock, ask us. Don't just put us down because you like multiple different stuff, which I, I see that a lot. So, um independence be independently free show independently respect to people who like different music most importantly don't be a musical snob okay because musical snobs are, are are not necessary well that being said i i, I do always um want to kind of end this on the show on talking a little bit about maybe a little bit deeper on the something a little bit maybe of a musical story or maybe a little bit of a musical this or a musical that um 
But uh, let's see what we got here in the old, old, old thing today. All right, what are we going to talk about today? Let's 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 talk back to uh, a little bit of a, a concert, okay? Let's talk about a concert that I went to. It was at the Metro in Chicago, okay? The concert was Corrosion of Conformity and Machine Head. Um, a couple uh, heavy metal or hard rock or whatever you want to call them, really. Honestly, these titles seem to get really ridiculous. But me and my uh, buddies went. I'll never forget that day. I, before we went to the show, I had bought concert tickets to another concert um, for me and my friends. Um, so when going to this concert, I was collecting the cash from them. So I had all the cash on hand for this other concert that I bought. So we went into the show. Awesome show. Machine Head blew the stage off. Um, look next to me. Up in the rafters was one Mike Piazza, uh, Major League Baseball catcher, just standing there watching. The, the Mets were in town playing the Cubs across the street. I believe it was the Mets or was he on the Dodgers? I can't remember off the top. But he was in the crowd. And I was just blown away that this guy was sitting there watching the same concert as we were. Okay, so we leave the concert. Concert's done. Concert's over with. Uh, great, awesome show. Um, had just seen Corrosion Conformity open up for Metallica at one of my first concerts at the Rosemont Horizon, now the Allstate Arena. And we go outside, and we're waiting for my friend's dad. And we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting. Next thing you know, we see a car fly by. Okay, it's on the back of uh, a tow truck. Okay, and on the back of the tow truck, is my friend's dad's car. Next thing you know, my friend's dad walks up to us outside the venue and says, uh, my car was towed. I par and we walk to where he got towed and right a big sign, right at Wrigley Field says, do not park this car here when there is no game. But he parked there. He got towed. He didn't have any cash on him. Guess who had to bail that car out? It was me, but the cash for the tickets from earlier in the day. So I was able to go help my buddy's dad bail out the car and we made it home. Um, luckily that day I was buying concert tickets and I had that cash. Everyone brought their cash and we were able to make it home a little bit later than expected. This is back in 1997. So we're high school students. Um, definitely an experience. Definitely crazy seeing the tow truck drive by with the car on it and going, I believe that's the car. Um, Crazy, 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 crazy. I'm hoping down at this government mule show and or at this this um, STP show, we, we get more stories. Love stories. Love watching people. Always a good time. Um, thank you so much for, for joining me today on this, this very special episode. Our 24th episode. We always, always, always are here to share really awesome, cool stories with you. I'm always here to look deeper. Always here to re interview, review. We're going to look at it all in all different ways, okay? Um, we appreciate your time. Um, if you ever personally have anything you would like us to talk about, please don't be afraid to shout out. Send me a message. You know, send me a message on here on the um, Instagram or on the Twitter. You know, I am the sugar baggy on the Twitter if you find me there. Or you can message me on the hookup on music on the Twitter or on the instagram this podcast is available everywhere okay make sure you are getting on down to that penguin sadistic youtube channel and make sure that you are subscribing okay we have a lot a lot of awesome stuff on there like i like to say um really 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 good friends that i've met and honestly um uh, the whole reason why I signed up for Twitter was to meet really cool people and share experiences. We've been to movies. We're going to be going to a movie here in a couple of weeks, seeing the new Indiana Jones. Um, but really, really good people. And we really like to really like to share stuff that we enjoy with you and like for you to share stuff that you enjoy with us. So please um, always be, be friendly, be nice, make a little jokes. But don't be an ignoramus when talking about music with other people. Open up your mind a little bit. Share something. Um, take it in. You know, because even some slow bands uh, can make it fast and some fast bands can make it slow. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Always got to listen to that black cow on the way out. 
you know, and always, always thank you for letting us be uh, your musical hookup. Thank you always for joining in. And until, 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 till, 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 till the next time, I want you to all have a very, very good 4th of July. Please be safe. And we will talk to you again soon.